Hello there. So today we have a long overdue AliExpress haul. I feel like I've not done an AliExpress haul in so long. It's probably only been about a week, but it feels like forever. And I love doing AliExpress hauls. So without further vaginas, let's just get straight into this. Okay, so this haul is predominantly lip products. I don't know how that happened, but I feel like I want to film another testing out lip products from AliExpress video potentially but anyway you tell me if there are any of these lip products you would like to see me try out or if you'd like to see one of those types of swatching videos just let a girl know in the comments okay so the first two products I got are by the brand Han Diane now you may remember Han Diane and I don't mean to be in any way offensive with my pronunciation but you may remember them from being those, you know, the little creamy, like, duochrome highlighters. They weren't duochrome, they weren't highlighters, they were just a sticky mess. You know, I, I could stick, like, the pot to my finger because they were so fecking sticky and they were awful. They were made by Hany, 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 Han. No, Handy Ian. So you can see why, by the way, it's still no offence made. I'm just pronouncing these in the only way I feel I can. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't approaching these with a little bit of cautious optimism you know but anyway let's just have a look so it just says long oh sh i mean really excuse me now have i offended you i did not mean to offend you with my comments i mean really i don't remember buying this oh my gosh i do remember buying it okay so look this is like a jouet knockoff it's not pretending to be jouet but um you know you look at that and you think Jouet. I mean, let's face it. Uh, it's a really funny little component, as Jeffree Star would say, um, because it's kind of like a rectangle, but then it's got this little bit. Can you see that juts out at the side, almost as if you can, you know, kind of attach another one to it? Shall we see if my suspicion is correct? Let's open this bad boy up. By, by the way, that was shade number 11, and this one is shade 01. But this one looks like one of the what, I don't remember the name, but they're like lip toppers. Um, as you can see, this one's very kind of glittery. Uh, so this one's shade 01. And okay, shall we see? Oh no, well, well, like, because they've got like a jutty bit at the side. So I thought, could you like, can you like connect them together? I'm sure you can connect these together. Look, I'm sure of it. Am I just asking too much here? Like, I, I think, they would fit together. It looks like they should fit together because I can't see any other reason why they would have this jutty bit. I'm spending way too long on this point, like, but I feel like they should be fitting together. You're the camera, what the feck are you on about? But like, they don't. Oh my gosh, this is like, the, oh, maybe I do it from the bottom. Like work my way up from the bottom. And that's what he said. I mean, really, but no. Okay, so forget that. I know I've laboured that point to death, but I thought it was some nifty little, you know, like the Fenty matchsticks are magnetic. I thought these would maybe like attach together. That was wishful thinking, wasn't it? But anyway, we've got two shades. If I just open this one up, oh my gosh, it was really stuck on there. Uh, it feels really strange because it's a square. It's not the most kind of tactile pleasing kind of situation. Um, but it's got a little one there, I and mean, if I do a little swatcheroo, it, yeah, I mean, it looks like every other red undertone brown that I've ever seen in my life. I know that I'm going into this very negative. I know you're thinking it, oh my gosh, will you go back on again? Do you know what? I don't like the square. I feel like it, like this is me being a little princess right now, but I feel like it, the corners like jut into your fingers, and I don't want that. I want a nice, smooth but solid edge in which to wrap my fingers around you know that's kind of what i'm into again we've got the square lid okay okay so this is the other shade zero one uh can you see it okay so it's like a almost like a rose goldy kind of situation with little glitters in it and this to me is definitely a lip topper if ever I saw one uh, because I don't think this is the kind of product that you would just want to wear on a solo mission. I feel like, you know, it comes into its own on top of another product. So if, actually, should I put it on right now? Like, and mess up my entire look? Let's do it. I mean, why not? 
I'm currently wearing, um, what am I wearing? Celebrity Skin, I think, by Jeffree Star. So I'll just, I'll pop a little bit of this on just to juice up my lips a little bit. Put a little bit up there. I feel like the wand is not picking up like hardly any of the product. So I'm just like swirling it round up in there. And still, we've got a minuscule amount of product on the fecking wand. It's got a little bit of a funny smell to it, but on the scale of random smells that I've smelt in makeup, it's really not that offensive. I actually think it looks really quite nice. I mean, I'm liking it. You can't really see like the glitters as glitters, if that makes sense. It, it just kind of adds a bit of like dimension to your lips. I actually really like this. I kind of went into it not being so blown away, you know, by the little swatch. But I actually think on the lips, it looks really, really nice. I've got something on my lip. Could you not have told me, guys? Like, literally, we've we've discussed this before. When Anne Winata has something random on her face that should not be there, maybe a little bit of her lunch on her face, let a girl know, guys. Come on, seriously. Again, all reasons why Anne needs to go live. But I, do I need, like, a microphone? What do I need? I have no idea. My laptop has only just been risen from the depths of laptop hell. Thank you to my dad. Uh, so I feel like... Technology is not my best friend at the best of times, but anyway. So I think that this is a really nice uh, product. Uh, this one I will try out in a testing out AliExpress lip products video, and I will leave all of the details as to which stores I got these from and how much they were, etc., just in the description. So check that situation out if you want more info. Also, as well, just one thing to mention, this feels like really, really comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel, you know, overly glossy or sticky or heavy. It actually feels sexual right now. Not, not sexual, but you know, it feels it feels really good right now. Okay, so the next product is by Dragon Rams. I don't know what the obsession is with dragons. I know dragons are very big in like Chinese culture and mythology. But either there's one brand called Dragon that makes lots of different lip products and they give them different names, you know, for each lip product. Or there's just loads of different brands that have a name that's different variations of Dragon. I can't understand it. But anyway, so I've got shade 09 and I've got shade 10. And I believe that these are liquid lipsticks. So if I just do a little swatch. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty colour. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's like a beautiful baby pink with just a little hint of peach to it. That's actually really, really beautiful. Uh, again, we'll be trying this out in the swatch video. And I also have shade 09. So if I just swatch that one up here, and this is a beautiful kind of Barbie pink. I love it. I love it. I feel like it would go really well with this eye look, actually. You know, like a bright pink lip with the with the eye, the smoky eye. But, okay, so those two look beautiful. Also, they look pretty opaque. I know it's really tough to tell from a swatch, but I'm actually really, really excited about those. Also, I think the packaging is actually really tastefully done. Like, I love the ombre, like, black frosting i think it looks really cool frosting i love the word frosting what's going on on my phone right now right so guys just to let you know this right and tell me the truth in the comments just tell me the truth do i sound like marge simpson because right the first time someone said it i was like oh yeah i was laughing i was thinking oh that's great but then like the 10th time someone said it and it's always a random person that just maybe just stumbles across my channel and they come on. You sound like Marge Simpson. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. Like, literally, do I sound like Marge Simpson? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. But apparently, some people think I do. Just be honest. Tell me. I've got such a complex at the moment. I've been studying Marge Simpson's voice and I've been thinking, is it me? Because, you know, like when people give you, like, not hate comments, but like negative comments, comments that are nice, let's say. And at first, like, you're just like, oh, no, whatever, it doesn't bother me. But when you hear the same comment again and again and again, it does start to, like, get into your head. Like, what, what, what? And because everyone always comments about my voice, like, it's always my voice. Like, your voice is funny. I can't stand your voice. Oh, my God, your voice. It's just like, okay, like, is there something wrong with my voice? 
I just don't know anyway, guys. Okay, so next we have a product by the brand Poudier, which makes me think of like a French lady living in a, a big kind of estate house out in Marseille. And she's got a powder blue frock on that's just very elaborately like designed with lace all over it. And she's called Madame Poudere. And she is very highly regarded in her village, but behind closed doors, she is a sassy little bitch. I mean, she loves it. That's all I'm going to say. She's sexy. She has sex outfits, is what I'm trying to say. She gets down. She gets sexy. She, let's just say her husband has a good time. So this is what it looks like. It actually looks very unique if i just open her up and there we go this is looks to this looks to be like a peach oh my gosh i'm loving the shade ah oh, oh my gosh oh my gosh it's looking like a true peach kind of shade like i'm a huge fan of peach i've said this like a million times before i know everyone's probably so bored of hearing me talk about how much i like peach but i think that's like a really true kind of peachy shade uh i've got a feeling that this might be quite a thick like formula but i can't wait to try that i mean i'm really looking forward to doing this video and testing these bad boys out okay so next i got six pairs of false eyelashes and when how many times in your life have you actually worn false eyelashes one and when do you think that you would like to wear false eyelashes again considering that you almost blinded yourself when you were applying them last time probably not and when why did you buy fucking six of them I have no idea. You know, sometimes you're just on AliExpress and you see something and you think, yes, I can definitely use that. That would be so much fun to mess about with. And then it comes and you're just like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, literally, like, what? what? Okay, so next I got a mascara. Um, it's coming in like a rather unglamorous little plastic bag, you know? Poor little situation. Um, I don't really know much about this. I mean, I can't remember buying it, but it feels kind of heavy. Uh, so you've got a little one and then a big one. There's, there's no writing on it. There's nothing to give away what this is. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the instructions here. Rather worryingly, right, on the little promo like leaflet situation that is included with the mascaras, like I'm not, not giving any shade or anything, but this lady's eyelashes look a bit fecked up to me, like especially that one. It looks like she put a false lash on and it's like falling off. Is it just me that thinks that? Like, let me know. I'm not being, like, mean or anything. I'm sure she's, like, a lovely lady and she's beautiful. But look, like, some, that doesn't look quite right. That isn't giving me the greatest of confidence in this product. It just says, Mood Struck 3D Fibre Lashes. So there's a transplanting gel. Jeez, that sounds a bit scary, doesn't it? Transplanting a gel and natural fibres. So, I mean... And I don't know which is which, because like the, there's no guidance on these. Am I going to put the transplanting gel on first and then end up with like, well, end up with like these fecked up eyelashes? I don't know. Maybe it's meant to be like a game, like a challenge. So you have no idea which is which. You pick the wrong one and this is what happens. Maybe that's the thing that I've just missed all along. I mean, really. Oh no, it's so actually, no. It says apply a thin coat of your favourite regular mascara. So, okay, so you have to include an, your regular mascara in this and then let dry. Wait, I'm so confused. Wait, you put, you, you put, sorry guys, I know this is probably really tedious, but you put your regular mascara on and then you let it dry. Then you apply an even coat of transplanting gel on the lashes and then immediately, immediately, before gel has time to dry, apply fibre onto lashes. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? I'm feeling very excited about this. I feel like I'm a little bit terrified, but ultimately I'm, I'm all for it. Like I'm all in to try this out. I feel like this would actually be really, really fun. But I mean, her lashes do look kind of scary. So, I mean, I'm picturing my lashes like that. And I'm kind of thinking, do I want it? No. 
Anyway, I'm going to keep this handy little leaflet and I'm going to be testing this out soon. I just feel like it'd be quite fun. I thought one of these was just going to be fibres and the other was going to be like a mascara, but no, apparently not. I'm going to leave that out because I might test that out tomorrow, actually. I mean, really. Okay, and the last couple of things that I got are two like head headwear headwares uh, because I feel like I've not bought any headwares for a long time so I got uh, this peachy kind of situation I feel like I've had one of these before maybe I just bought it again forgetting that I had it do you know what this is meant to be for like where do you put it I don't know like what's the best way to wear this maybe like do I go like this and then like like this I don't know. I mean, I never know with these kinds of things. And then I got like a pink one. Like I keep buying these things. Like I've got about 50 million of these nestled between my dildos and I'd never wear them. I just think it's such a good idea at the time. And I think for me, I, when I buy these, I always think they're going to be great for when I'm washing my hair, you know, to keep my hair out my face. But then like I never, never use them for that. I've got a headband in the bathroom for that very purpose. So why am I buying all of these? I, I have no idea. So that brings us to the end of this video. I know there were a lot of lip products in this video. I am going to be testing all of these lip products out in one like mega lip swatching kind of video. I'm also going to be trying out the it's kind of scary uh, transplanting gel and fibres situation. I'm very intrigued actually to see if I'll have any eyelashes left after trying that but it'll be interesting. I hope that you're having a wonderful day today, like literally I hope that you've had such a great day or if you're in Australia and your day is just beginning, I hope that you've got a super fabulous day ahead of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with more.